Welcome to another Juno Empire Sportscast. I'm sports editor Tim Nichols. The JDHS boys basketball team heads into what might be its most difficult stretch of the schedule as they open a four-game road trip in Anchorage, opening tonight against Diamond High School at 7.30 p.m. The Lynx are currently 8-0. They'll be, then the Bears will follow with the Alaska Airlines Classic at West Anchorage High School on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I talked to Bears center FIFO LaValle on what advice he would give the Bears' younger players as they head up to Anchorage. Um, for the younger guys, you know, messing the tone, you know, stay humble. Um, don't get too carried away, you know, um, make a good play. You got to get back on D. Uh, there's so many things that you have to work on, you know, especially with that kind of caliber. Um, you know, Anchorage is uh, notorious for that, um, mm -hmm. that quickness and athletic ability for every sport they have. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they have a bit wider range of players. You know, they got players who can shoot, players who can, uh, you know, a lot of players with different character characteristics. And so um, for us to go up there, that's a good, you know, get experience from those out-of-town teams. And, uh, the, and uh, see what the competition is going to be like in the state. Meanwhile, the Juno Douglas High School girls basketball team will head up to Anchorage for a four-game set of their own. The Bears will open play in Anchorage tonight at 7 p.m. at Bartlett High School before heading off to East Anchorage High School and the 23rd Annual Lady T-Bird Classic. That tournament runs Thursday through Saturday. The Bears' opening opponent will be Kodiak. That game tipping off at 4 p.m. Thursday it is a rematch of the two teams' Capital City Classic matchup two weeks ago, won by the Crimson Bears 45-30. to At the Lady T-Bird Classic, the Bears have finished third in that tournament the last two years, winning the whole thing in 2004. How excited are you to go up to Anchorage and you know see some new teams play in a different environment? I'm pretty excited. I'm I'm ready to play other teams that I haven't played before. I'm ready for competition. After a late T-Bird Classic, the JDHS girls will open Southeast Conference play at SICA on January 18th and 19th. It's been another Juno Empire Sportscast. I'm sports editor Tim Nichols. Thanks for watching.